please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. Certainly. Relative imports in Python are used to import modules or packages that are located relative to the current module. This can be particularly useful when working on larger projects with a complex directory structure. Relative imports are specified using dot notation. Let's go through a tutorial with examples to understand Python's relative imports. Consider the following directory structure for our tutorial. Here, project is the main project folder, and it contains a package folder with two modules, module underscore a dot py and module underscore b dot py, and an underscore underscore init underscore underscore dot py file, which makes the package folder a Python package. Additionally, there's a script.py file outside the package. Let's start with an absolute import, which is the standard way of importing modules in Python. In this case, we are importing the foo function from module underscore a using an absolute import. Now, let's see how to use relative imports. In this example, we are importing the bar function from module underscore a using a relative import. The dot, dot, indicates that the import is relative to the current package or module. Use of underscore underscore init underscore underscore dot py, the presence of an underscore underscore init underscore underscore dot py file in a directory indicates that the directory should be treated as a package. Dot notation. Limitations. Relative imports in Python provide a way to import modules or packages based on their location relative to the current module. This can enhance code organization and maintainability, especially in larger projects with complex structures. Remember to use them wisely and adhere to the recommended practices. ChatGPT